This will sound very strange, but the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, and his plane, the Lisa Marie, are a prophecy that is predicting that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash that will be caused due to a bird strike in St. Louis on precisely November 26th, 2022. The date that this video is posted proves that this prediction was made ahead of time, as does this time-stamped email and Forensic Notes PDF. If you are skeptical, please email me and I will forward these to you. After Harris's death, she will be replaced by Michelle Obama, and soon after, Barack Obama will replace Michelle. This is the reason why Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash. This video is also predicting that Michelle Obama will become the 47th president on December 13th, 2022. She will become the Queen of America 96 days after the Queen of England died at the age of 96. She will return to the White House as the President 97 days after she returned to the White House for the unveiling of her portrait on the date September 7th, which is 9-7 and hints at 97. She will replace the 49th U.S. Vice President and then become the President exactly 49 months after her book Becoming was released. She will become the first female president and the 47th president exactly 47 weeks after the death of Lucia Harris, the queen of basketball, who was the first and only woman to be drafted by the NBA, and she will replace Kamala Harris, and her husband is the basketball president who will replace Michelle Obama a few days later as the president on December 18th. Here is the email and forensic notes PDF that document this prediction. This video is also predicting that famous actor James Earl Jones, the voice of the Lion King and the voice of Darth Vader, will die on December 30th, 2022. This video is also predicting that there will be a catastrophic asteroid hit on Earth on September 2nd, 2023. This will be a fulfillment of what is described in the Book of Revelation in the Bible in Chapter 8. Currently at this time, there is no way of knowing where Kamala Harris plans to be on November 26th. But if her plane crash occurs in St. Louis, then another video on this channel that is titled Prediction Harris's Plane Will Crash in St. Louis on November 26th will become one of the most important videos on this channel. In the description box below, I will leave a link to this absolute must-watch video. It has been known since the autumn of 2020 that she will die in a plane crash. But as can be seen here in this email, it was known since August of 2021. Jesus commanded his disciples to watch for the signs of his return. Yet if the average Christian today were asked if they can name one prophetic sign, they will not even understand the question. They are in fact sleeping just as Jesus warned they would be. That said, the full intended meaning of God's prophetic end times signs cannot be properly understood without their connections to other signs and their context within the bigger picture of signs. The full intended meaning of God's prophetic end times signs and his big picture of signs, patterns, and connections is what is being explained on this channel. What proves that the Bible is the inspired word of God is Bible prophecy. The reason why one third of the Bible is prophecy is for the purpose of God proving that the Bible is inspired from God. Jesus claimed to be the Messiah that Bible prophecy speaks of. Jesus was the first to deliver the gospel of salvation to the world. To those that doubted him, he told them that if they didn't believe what he told them, then they should believe the signs and miracles that he did. After Jesus, the apostles continued the mission of spreading the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ. Until the books of the New Testament were completed, God confirmed for people that the words that the apostles were speaking were true through the signs and miracles that accompanied them. What confirms that what is being explained on this video channel 
is God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections. And what proves the things I am saying in these videos are true are the predictions. If you don't believe me, then believe the predictions. This is the purpose of the prediction or predictions being made in this video. That said, in order to understand why God has given me a voice through these predictions, it is absolutely critical that you watch all of the videos, every minute of every video. And most of the most important videos are likely not on the social media platform that you are currently using. It is critical that you learn the information God wants you to learn, which is the reason why God has provided these predictions. People have their worldviews, and so people will tell themselves in their own mind how and why I was able to know these predictions in advance. It is normal psychological behavior for people to reflexively try to fit in strange new information into their current worldview. People have this psychological instinct in order to maintain and protect their current worldview because changing one's current worldview is one of the most fearful things for people. For example, if someone is a Buddhist or New Ager or someone into yoga, etc., they will explain to themselves that this prediction was made through tapping into the so-called collective consciousness. Also, if someone has an agnostic, atheist, materialist worldview, although their reasoning is completely irrational, they will explain this prediction as being a coincidence. If someone has a Muslim worldview or holds Christian doctrine that disagrees with making such a prediction, they will explain to themselves that this prediction was made through communication with a demon. Also, a new religion has been born that could be called conspiracy theory or something, and those with this worldview will explain that this prediction is the result of tapping into some sort of bizarre ritualistic witchcraft that the Illuminati use. However, I assure you that your assumptions are not correct. I have spent the last five years working from morning until night learning about God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections. I assure you that I know better than you the reasons for how and why God has given me a voice through these predictions. In the description box below this video, I will leave a link to a video titled God's Purpose for These Predictions. It would be an enormous shame for you to learn about these predictions, but not know the reasons for how and why God has given these predictions. In other words, unless you watch this video, God's purpose for these predictions, you will have missed the point of this video and the point of this video channel. Make sure you watch the video, God's purpose for these predictions, either before or after watching this video. Another common way in which people deal with information that contradicts their current worldview is what is called in psychology belief perseverance. People protect their worldview by simply blocking out the contradictory information and forgetting about it. Do not succumb to this temptation and move on with life as if you never learned about this prediction and information. I will be slightly more blunt. It would be very foolish to not learn the reason for how and, more importantly, why God has given me a voice through these predictions. In other words, don't be the foolish person that will choose to skip the video titled God's Purpose for These Predictions. Choosing to skip watching this video because you think you know better and more than me and you think you already know how and why I was able to make these predictions would be very foolish. This video was originally produced in the spring or early 2021. And so the, in, the knowledge and uh, wisdom has been exponential since then. And in the upcoming diagram, you will see that the diagram doesn't go past um, June 8th and April 19th, two dates that were very important in the trail of signs that are leading to the day that Kamala Harris will die 
in a plane crash the predicted date on November 3rd, 2022. But nonetheless, this video uh, explains some of, some of the signs you won't hear in any other video. And um, so that's one reason why this video is worth watching. And also you can get a background to what the thought process was back in early 2021. And these, yeah, so there's a lot of very interesting things in this video nonetheless. And also the other videos, many other videos explain how April 19th connects in the trail of science. For example, that date is three sets of 90 days to January 14th which is a date that has been explained in other videos, which leads in the trail of signs to the other dates to November 3rd. Also, there are other Elvis signs that have come since the production of this video, since early 2021, and this is the background for it. I don't think there is a better explanation in any other video, for example, uh, Elvis's airplane. So that's another reason why this video is interest is worth watching. This is going to be a very interesting video. Elvis Presley and his plane. Let's first begin with describing his plane, the Lisa Marie, which is a famous plane. Um, and it has on its tail a lightning bolt with the initials TCB, which stands for taking care of business. His famous plane, the Lisa Marie, has a lightning bolt on the tail of its plane. And in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus said he saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. This is exactly what will be symbolized when Kamala Harris falls from the sky in her plane and dies in a plane crash, and then is replaced by the Antichrist in the office of vice president before shortly replacing the president, Joe Biden, and becoming the fourth, 47th president. And so that's why it's astounding that uh, Elvis Presley's plane has a lightning bolt on its tail. It's part of this sign. It's making it very obvious that this is part of the sign here. And God is using pop culture, and it's no wonder that God is using Elvis Presley and his signs. You'd figure that he would do so especially given that he is king symbolism, pointing not only to the coming Antichrist king, but also the king of kings, Lord Jesus Christ. There's so much to say. Okay, so on that note, actually, what you need to also watch is the Lion King prophecy video, which will explain a lot more regarding this king symbolism. Likewise, another must-watch video that will explain this king symbolism in God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections is the Field of Dreams prophecy video. Well, the day that Elvis Presley died was August 16th, 1977. And on this day was the last mission for his plane, the Lisa Marie. He sent his plane to pick up his daughter in California and she arrived in Memphis at, uh, on the Lisa Marie on the day that he died. His daughter is nine years, or was nine years old. Her, obviously, her name was Lisa Marie. And so this will become relevant in a little bit. The fact that his daughter was nine years old. From the Bible, the number nine symbolizes God's judgment. Again, Elvis's plane has a lightning bolt on it, and lightning is Antichrist symbolism. In Bible prophecy, the number 666 is associated with the Antichrist. And exactly six years, six months, and six days after Elvis Presley died, and this last mission of the Lisa Marie to pick up his nine-year-old daughter, Lisa Marie, was Lisa Marie Day on February 22nd, 1984. Uh, Graceland Estate had got the plane back to the estate. They had to shut down the roads of Memphis and cut sections off the plane to bring the plane down to the Graceland Estate where it now resides for tourists to see. And the mayor of Memphis and I think the governor, I'm not sure, but there was a lot of 
uh, fanfare and celebration. It was actually a national news story as well, this bringing the plane down the roads of Memphis to Graceland. And the mayor declared that this day would be Lisa Marie Day. Um, I'm assuming that this is an annual thing. I'm, you know, Lisa Marie Day is February 22nd, 1984, which again was exactly six months, six, uh, six years, six months, six days after the last mission for the Lisa Marie, which has a lightning bolt on its tail. Well, Lisa Marie Day was in turn exactly 444 months a number God uses to reveal the identity of the Antichrist, who is associated with the number 44, to February 22nd, 2021. Before I explain February 22nd, 2021, let me explain the relationship between the number 666 and 444. The number 666 symbolizes the Antichrist in large part because the number 6 symbolizes man. Man was created on the sixth day. And again, in Bible prophecy, the number 666 symbolizes the Antichrist. Likewise does the number 444. In Strong's Concordance, the 444th word in the Greek New Testament, G444, is the word for man. And so the number 666 is associated with the first Antichrist, just as the number 444 is associated with the second Antichrist. There are two antichrists in Bible prophecy. February 22nd was the day that social media and the mainstream media was reporting how Niagara Falls had frozen over and there was this beautiful rainbow over Niagara Falls that tourists were able to see. Niagara Falls freezing over is a rare event and this uh, rainbow aspect of Niagara Falls is a big reason why God is using Niagara Falls in his signs. Niagara Falls is Noah's flood symbolism. It symbolizes the power of water moving over the earth. And other videos on this channel talk about what will be the big end times judgment sign that will communicate that judgment is beginning now. And I believe this is a major reason for even the existence of Niagara Falls which is this historic barge that has been stuck on the rocks of Niagara Falls for over 100 years, since the year of World War I and the Spanish flu pandemic. World War I was the beginning of the um, end times signs. When asked for, by his disciples for the signs to look for his, of his return, Jesus replied that you will hear of wars and rumors of wars and Kingdom will rise up against kingdom and nation against nation. And all of these are but the birth pains, but the end is not yet. I'm paraphrasing. And so uh, World War I was the beginning of the birth pains. The reason is, is because World War I was the end of the 500-year Ottoman rule of the Palestine area, which led to the British mandate and their rule of Palestine which also led to the Balfour Declaration, which declared that Palestine is a homeland for the Jewish people, which enabled the immigration of Jews back to Palestine and was the beginning of this restoration of Israel in the 20th century, which God is restoring for the Lord Jesus Christ to rule from Jerusalem at the center of the world for the thousand years of peace when he returns in the second coming in the autumn of 2024. And so anyway, um, that's the reason for the Niagara Barge and also why Niagara Falls is important because it's Noah's flood symbolism and it engenders, Noah's, uh, Niagara Falls engenders a, a rainbow, uh, which is also Noah's flood symbolism. And also, by the way, yeah, sorry, the, uh, the barge symbolizes Noah's Ark. And at the time that it got stuck, two men were trapped on the barge, which, then was the most dramatic rescue in the history of Niagara Falls when the two men were rescued by a lifeline that was shot from the banks of the river by the U.S. Coast Guard, by the U.S. Coast Guard, and this gave this national uh, judgment symbolism. So anyway, the rainbow in the Niagara Falls frozen over was 444 months exactly after Lisa Marie Day. The Lisa Marie now resides at Graceland, uh, 
Graceland is very symbolic here. And the God's sign regarding judgment, the rainbow, is his sign of grace at the end of the flood judgment. And so what God is communicating through this is that Graceland is symbolizing God's grace over the land of America, which is about to end. And America is about to be destroyed. God's grace on America is about to end. And that's why God is pointing to this rainbow, because it symbolizes God's grace regarding judgment. And so that's why this is amazing. We've got Graceland connecting to this rainbow at Niagara Falls with an exact 444 months, which is extremely prophetic. There are many other 440 months connections. We have a second witness to this. Paul Simon's Graceland album became his most successful studio album and highest charting album in over a decade. It is estimated to sold, had sold over 16 million copies worldwide, and it was loaded by critics and won the 1987 Grammy for Album of the Year, and is frequently cited as one of the best albums of all time. And in 2006, it was added to the United States National Recording Registry as, quote, culturally, historically, and aesthetically important, quote. Okay, so the song of the album, arguably, is his song Graceland as well, in which he says that he is traveling with his nine-year-old son. And so this is another connection to a nine-year-old, to the nine-year-old daughter of Elvis Presley, Lisa Marie, who was on the Lisa Marie on the day that he died. In fact, more specifically, she was on her way to Graceland. And in the song, Paul Simon is singing about how he is on his way to Graceland with his nine-year-old son, his traveling companion. The song is literally about him driving down the highway to Graceland. Him driving down the highway with his nine-year-old son to Graceland parallels the day of Elvis's death and his nine-year-old daughter on her way to Graceland on his plane. The release date of Paul Simon's Graceland on August 25th was exactly 1,800 weeks before this Niagara barge frozen over rainbow sign. 1,800 is, well, 18 is Antichrist symbolism because it is 6 plus 6 plus 6. We've already seen in this trail here a 666 six, six connection with the six years, six months, and six days. The odds of, you know, a number of weeks being on an even hundred number um, is one in 700. So, but the odds of it being a meaningful symbolic number are of course a lot lower than one in 700. And so from Elvis's nine-year-old daughter and the sign here with Paul Simon's nine-year-old son, we have two connections that involve six plus six plus six or three sixes to the day the rainbow was reported over Niagara Falls when it froze over, which is symbolizing Graceland. What's also interesting about this 1800 weeks number is that 18 is a multiple of nine. It is two times nine. Okay, so from the day that the Niagara barge, or sorry, the Niagara Falls froze over and the rainbow, it is exactly 47 days, which is symbolizing the 47th president, hinting at the 47th president, who will be the Antichrist after Kamala Harris dies in a plane crash. Um, soon after, the Antichrist will replace Kamala Harris and then become the president soon afterwards by replacing Biden as well. And 47 days after the Niagara Barge sign is the Kingston sign, which is when the residents of Kingston on St. Vincent woke up to a layer of volcanic ash covering their homes and streets. The must watch the Lion King prophecy video explains this, so I won't explain it. And um, but it's Kingston, which is king symbolism. And we're talking about about Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. Right? He's known as the king. That's his nickname, the king. And so that's why this is very important. What is a confirmation of that is that from this same day, the Niagara barge froze over with the rainbow over it, which connects with the nine-year-old son and the nine-year-old daughter. 
it is 99 days to the day it was reported that the sign at the entrance of Elvis's birthplace and chapel museum in Tupelo, Mississippi, was stolen. It was a national news story. Someone stole the sign Elvis. Prior to this date, I was expecting a King-related sign, and sure enough, we received one. The date was June 1st, and this connects with seven days to the day that Kamala Harris will crash in her plane, and the relevance and prophetic importance of that is explained, this connection, is explained in the must-watch Field of Dreams prophecy video. The actor James Earl Jones starred in the movie Field of Dreams, and he was also the voice of Mufasa, the king in the movie The Lion King, and he also played King Jaffe Jaffer in the movie Coming to America, and he was also the voice of Darth Vader, which is Antichrist King symbolism. And James Earl Jones was also born in northern Mississippi, close to Memphis, Tennessee, and Graceland. And this stolen Elvis sign, which was King symbolism, was also pointing to James Earl Jones. But that is explained in the must-watch The Lion King Prophecy video and Field of Dreams Prophecy video. Now, if we go up the diagram here, you can see in the top right, we've got a nine days and a nine days and a nine days connection back to March 14th. Well, the other signs in this trail here, the other signs on April 1st and March 22nd and 23rd are explained in the Lion King prophecy video. But on March 14th, we had these signs which are also explained in detail in the Lion King prophecy video. This isn't really an explanation of it. But what, ha what occurred on this date was the Grammy Awards and um, speaking of music and Elvis Presley, when Beyonce, known as the Queen of Pop, was nominated for nine Grammy Awards, and it is publicly known that she is obsessed with the number four, and also her nine-year-old daughter won a Grammy Award, and her name is Ivy, which is named after the Roman numeral for the number four, which sounded out is IV. And so that's why another nine-year-old here, we've got now three nine-year-olds in this trail here, which is confirming the signs. And that's how God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections works. It's what makes it true, uh, besides the fact that this prediction, when this prediction comes to pass. What makes it true is the second and third and multiple witnesses confirming things. Otherwise, it's just delusional. And this is what is required, as said in the Bible, second and third witnesses confirming things. And that's why it's nine days, nine days, and nine days. And speaking of king symbolism, one of those signs was in the King Super Supermarket shooting in Boulder, Colorado on Nissan 10, the day that the King of the Jews, the King of Kings, officially entered Jerusalem in his triumphal entry. Well, it's also nine and four because it was nine nominations for Beyonce, who was obsessed with the number four. It was the nine-year-old daughter who was named after the number four. And also this day, um, player number nine of the New Orleans Saints announced his retirement, which was very prophetic and explained in the Lion King prophecy video. This player number nine is the NFL's all-time career passing yardage king. He's the quarterback king, which makes this part of this Elvis is the king of rock and roll trail of signs here. And this player is known for having won Super Bowl 44. So we've got nine and fours and nine times four is 36 days and nine times four days after these signs involving the nine and number four was the day that Kamal Harris visited an electric bus company in High Point, North Carolina, while she was promoting her and Biden's 2.3 trillion infrastructure and jobs package. The 2.3 trillion hints at the number 23, which is a number that God uses to reveal the identity of the Antichrist. And as explained many times in other videos, he pairs the numbers 9 and 23 together also to reveal the identity of the Antichrist. And that makes this a second witness with this nine days connection we see here from the Kingston Volcano Ash sign. In Luke 10:18, Jesus said he saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven which is exactly what will be symbolized when Kamala Harris falls from the sky and then is replaced with the Antichrist. 
and the electric bus company symbolizes lightning and high point symbolizes heaven as in Isaiah chapter 14, it is said that Lucifer fell from the high place, which is a metaphor for heaven. And in ancient Israel, the Jews would often go up to the high places on tops of mountains to worship the false gods in their, in their idolatrous false worship. And so this is why Kamala Harris visited High Point and the Electric Bus Company on this date. This 50 days connection here is very profound and amazing and the details of it are explained in another video. And so I won't explain it again. It's explained in the must watch, one of the must watch videos on this channel, the Fabio prophecy video. Fabio's face experienced a bird strike while he was on a roller coaster in 1999. And this was a prophetic sign that was pointing to the day that Kamala Harris will die in a plane crash due to a bird strike. Four times four days symbolizes the number 44, which reveals the identity of the Antichrist. And four times four days after these signs involving the number four, including the player that was known for having won Super Bowl 44, four times four days after this, March 14th date with the signs of the number four, is the day that in the news, it was a big news, sports news story especially, that the basketball team from the 45th state, the Utah Jazz, had to make an emergency landing after birds struck their plane, which is amazing because that's what God is communicating, that Kamala Harris will crash in her plane due to a bird strike. And the plane was on its way to Memphis, Tennessee, which is where Graceland is. So it was just amazing. And on this same day, President Trump, God's trumpet that he uses to trumpet his signs, um, announced that he uh, announced his new website, which is named 45office.com. And well, it's another story, I won't explain it, but the number 45 is, of course, Trump symbolism. He was the 45th president, and he is symbolizing King Cyrus, speaking of king symbolism, in the 45th chapter of Isaiah, but I won't explain that. Um, also, uh, in the uh, Joshua account, in the book of Joshua, the Joshua led the Hebrews around the walls of security seven times over seven days while seven priests blew seven trumpets, which is a three sets of seven before the sounding of the last trumpet sound with the big, long last trump. And that's another reason why God use, is using trump here. And so... Um, three times seven days, three weeks after this jazz Memphis uh, plane emergency landing due to, a, due to a bird strike was the day that Kamala Harris visited an electric bus company in High Point, North Carolina, which is symbolizing the day that she will fall from the sky in her plane and be replaced by the Antichrist, Satan falling like lightning from heaven, while she is investigating the source of the border wall of security crisis when she is visiting Guatemala. The border wall of security is synonymous with Trump's presidency, and it's symbolizing the walls of security that collapsed in judgment on Jericho when Joshua led the Hebrews around the walls seven times over seven days while seven priests blew seven trumpets, three sets of seven. But what confirms this is that jazz is sound it's music it's it's a sound and horn instruments and trumpets are a big part of jazz music and the last trump after the three sets of seven in the book of joshua was a sounding of the trump and so that's why it's amazing that after trump announced trumpeted his new website titled 44 um, dot office dot com the team, which God uses, by the way, he's used another signs, by the way, the 45th state team, the basketball team from the 45th state, is the, uh, the, the, that's tying into Trump. If I'm explaining this, I hope you got that. Team, 45th state, 45office.com, jazz sound, Trump, trumpeting sound, three sets of seven, last Trump sound, before judgment and the walls of security collapsing. Well, three times seven days, three weeks, Again, the Elvis sign was stolen in northern Mississippi near Memphis, where Elvis was born. And again, earlier I mentioned this stolen Elvis sign was 99 days 
to the Niagara frozen sign of rainbow and that in turn connected to the nine-year-old son and the nine-year-old daughter. And so we have a lot of nines, which again in the Bible symbolizes judgment. And it is exactly nine weeks between the Jazz Memphis Trump sign to the Elvis stolen sign near Memphis. In fact, I think I forgot to make that clear. This jazz plane was on its way to Memphis, just like the nine-year-old son and the nine-year-old daughter, they were on their way to Graceland. This plane was essentially on its way to Graceland. It was traveling from Salt Lake City, Utah to Memphis. And Memphis, Tennessee is known for its influential strains of blues, soul, and rock and roll that originated in Memphis. It's also the location of the Blues Hall of Fame. And so that's why it is astounding that in this sign, this team named the Jazz with this bird strike sign of the airplane was on its way to Memphis, essentially the home of jazz and, and blues music. If we look at the top left corner of this diagram, Again, Trump is God's trumpet that he uses to trumpet his signs. And so I would have expected that somehow God would have connected Trump and Elvis. If, if this was really true, that Elvis was as big of a deal as, it is, as I'm saying in this diagram so far, then somehow Trump would be involved. And it is amazing because Trump get awarded Pre Elvis Presley po uh, posthumously a medal of honor and which is like the highest award a civilian can receive the medal of freedom and this was exactly the day that trump awarded this medal of honor to elvis presley in 2018 was the day in the hebrew calendar 995779 and I was expecting a sign on this day prior to the state because of this, because I had already come to understand that the number nine symbolizes judgment in God's signs. And even that, nine days before that, I was expecting a sign. And that was the day of the Paradise Fire. And on the 995779, Trump was in um, Paradise, California. And it was his 666th day in office. That was the day after he awarded uh, Elvis the, the award. But um, the date 995779 in the Hebrew calendar begins at sunset. And so that's how come uh, Trump is involved with two uh, days in this sign here. But it was also the day of the nine UN resolutions against Israel. Um, and it was prophetic too, because this was when Trump uh, said that the Golan Heights, or he, um, he went against the resolution for the first time in history, the US did, against the Golan Heights resolution against Israel. So, okay. So we have nine UN resolutions, 995779. We've got Elvis Presley's nine-year-old daughter, Beyonce's nine-year-old daughter, and Paul Simon's nine-year-old son, all connecting with Graceland, right? Two of the three most important numbers God uses profusely in his end times big picture of signs, patterns, and connections is the number nine and 110. They both symbolize judgment, and God pairs these numbers together to point to and hint at 9-11. And this has been explained many, many times in other videos, so I won't explain it again here. But we have the nine resolutions on the date 9-9, and we have 110 weeks connection here connected to it, which makes this a second witness to each other. They confirm each other, therefore. Okay, well, 110 weeks is one of the three most, the number 110 is the age at which Joshua died. We've already explained Joshua and the importance of Joshua in regards to Trump as well. 110 weeks is Joshua symbolism, but especially so because it is 110 days times seven. And again, Joshua led the Hebrews around the walls of security seven times over seven days, while seven priests blew seven trumpets. So that's especially prophetic, if you will, 110 weeks. Exactly 110 weeks after Trump awarded Elvis the Medal of Honor uh, was the sign in Nashville, the Christmas morning bombing, okay? Elvis recorded his music in Nashville, his Graceland estate is in Memphis, Tennessee, but he recorded his music in Nashville, Tennessee. And there's a lot of king symbolism involved with Nashville, including Elvis Presley, but also the famous football player, King Henry. 
It's explained more the importance of Nashville in the must watch the Lion King prophecy video. If, if you're getting a hint now, by now you should know that you must watch the Lion King prophecy video. So I, anyway, it's amazing because I explain the reason for Nashville. It's at the center of the eclipse for one thing. And um, it was the only major U.S. city that was wholly within the path of totality of the great American eclipse. And Nashville is being used to point to the sun because the beginning of judgment will really get going on May 23rd with the solar flare storm that will hit Earth. That's a long story, but I explain it more in the Lion King prophecy video. The sun is 93 million miles away from Earth, which is why from the Christmas morning bombing in Nashville is 93 days to this other Nashville sign. But also... It was Flight 93 on 9-11 that killed 44 people, which is hinting at the Antichrist, whose number is 44. And again, it's also pointing to the, because 9-11 was the judgment warning of the coming judgment, which will begin really with this solar flare from the sun. And that's why on 9-11, it was Flight 93. Okay, and it also crashed in Pennsylvania and, and turned around in Cleveland, which is a city God uses to point to the Antichrist, which is also explained in the must-watch The Lion King Prophecy video, coincidentally. Oh, and by the way, the uh, eclipse that will pass the, uh, in two, the, great, the next great American eclipse in 2024 will cross the path of totality of the eclipse in 2017 exactly where it peaked. But that eclipse will go over the two cities of Dallas and Cleveland. Well, God's using Cleveland to point to the Antichrist and Dallas to point to the American Evangelical Church of Laodicea, which God is uh, not happy with at all and said in the book of Revelation he wants to vomit out of its mouth, his mouth for it being lukewarm and calls for it to repent. But that's another story as well. Well, anyway... So we've got Nashville sign to Nashville sign with this 93 days connection here. On Passover, on the date 327 to 328, was the day of the epic flood in Nashville that killed four people and the day of the Satan shoes sign, which is making a reference to Luke 10, 18, when Jesus said he saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven, which again is what Kamalus' hair plane will symbolize when she falls from the sky. And again, on Elvis's plane, there's a lightning bolt. Okay? And so that's amazing because it's Nashville. And that's where Elvis recorded his music. And on this date, 328 in 2021, we have a lightning from heaven sign, right? With the Satan shoes, which is also explained in the Must Watch the Lion King Prophecy video. Okay? So 47 weeks, which hints at the 47th president back... There was four deaths in the Nashville flooding, by the way. And it was, that was the uh, second wettest two-day period in Nashville's history, the 27th and 28th, which lined up precisely with Passover because the storm, the wet, the rain really got going in the evening of the 27th, and Passover began after sunset on the 27th. And it killed four people. It was initially reported uh, uh, four people. Later, it was reported the next day not on the day, but on the next day, six people died. Both numbers are relevant, as you will see. But four, because for one thing, and there are other things, but four, because one thing is because it was the fourth tragedy to befall Nashville in the last year, after the Christmas bombing and the derecho wind storm and the tornado in March of 2020. Well, exactly 47 weeks back, 47th president symbolism, was uh, May 2nd, 2020, and this derecho wind storm, which was a 70 miles per hour wind storm, and derecho is Spanish for straight. It's this extremely rare wind storm event when the winds travel in a straight line. It was deadly, it killed a firefighter, and the 70 miles per hour wind parallels the 7.01 inches of rain that fell over the two days in Nashville. And this is pointing to the Nashville being at the center of the eclipse because the path of totality was 70 miles wide. Before I continue, I keep forgetting uh, the, two the, the two wettest days, second, 
it was the second wettest two-day period in Nashville's history, all right? But the, it was actually hinting at the, the first two, uh, wettest two-day period in Nashville's history, which was May 1st to May 2nd, 2010, and the epic flooding that occurred in Nashville, which, among other things, uh, put the Grand Old Opry underwater. And that was exactly... May 1st and May 2nd, 2010, the number 11 in the Bible symbolizes the execution of judgment. And this was exactly 11 years before May 1st and May 2nd, 2021, which will be the symbolic beginning of the 1,260 day period, which is described seven times in Bible prophecy as being the length of the end times period and the Antichrist's rule. And I believe on this day, the symbolic sign will be the death of President Trump from a heart attack. It will be the last Trump sign, which will be hinting at the last Trump sound before the Hebrews departed camp at Mount Sinai with the last Trump. And this day, May 1st, May 2nd, will be IR20 in the Hebrew calendar, which was the day of this last of this Trump sound and the Jews, the Hebrews departing camp and going off into the wilderness on um, in, in the in the Old Testament. All right. Now, going back to the diagram here, 47 weeks back gets us another Nashville sign. And then another 47 months back from that gets us to June 2nd, 2016. And another Nashville sign on this day, it was the Blue Angels ceremonial jet that are never supposed to crash, crashed in Nashville, killing its pilot, and it was number six in its squad. And this was also the same day that the Thunderbirds jet, number six in its squad, crashed, which also isn't supposed to crash, after immediately after flying over Barack Obama while he delivered his uh, commencement speech to the Air Force in Colorado Springs in Colorado. Now, um, Kamala, Kamala Harris will die in her Air Force Two plane. And uh, the Blue Angels jet crashing which symbolizes the fallen angels, which is again tying into the Jesus saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven symbolism. Um, but also Colorado is the 38th state. And God is pointing to the 38th president through this, Gerald Ford who was the only president to have never been elected vice president or president, just like the Antichrist 47th president will be appointed and not be elected. He will be elected vice president and then become president. And this will be how Barack Obama will overcome the 22nd Amendment, which restricts someone from being elected to the office of president more than twice. He will be appointed instead, and he is no stranger for circumventing the Constitution. And um, that's another story, but that was done when he became president, even though he was born in Kenya. And that isn't a conspiracy theory, by the way. The, sick, the uh, sheriff from the sixth biggest county in the U.S. hired an independent lab in Europe to conduct a forensic analysis of the a uh, cop digital copy of the birth certificate, which was all that was released, and it was to analyze and concluded a clear forgery, a layered document, a layered digital document. But of course, the national media media won't report that. But the local media did some local media did report that, including the local media, uh, ABC, NBC, whatever. But the local NBC media uh, reported that in Arizona. Anyway, uh, so there you have it. Uh, how Elvis Presley's plane connects with the crash of Kamala Harris's plane. Aliens and UFOs are demons masquerading as aliens and UFOs for the gullible that will believe it because they don't have a solid biblical worldview. Most people's spiritual experiences are demonic deception, especially if they are not a true follower of Christ. The New Age or New Spirituality or Consciousness Religion is evil deception from Satan.
Satan and demons will give Catholics and New Agers spiritual experiences that they think confirm for them their beliefs, but these spiritual experiences are demonic deception for those that refuse to love the truth and so be saved. There is a spiritual reality behind the material world that we see. The wages for sin is death. Sin means to miss the mark. No one is good, all have sinned. Because of sin, people are captives of the ruler of this world, Satan. People's souls belong to Satan, whose power over people is death. God took the form of a man, Jesus Christ, and paid the ransom that is owed to the ruler of this world. Through Christ's death and resurrection, he defeated sin and he overcame Satan's power in death. It is through Christ and his spirit that it is possible for everyone to be forgiven of their sin and we can have eternal life if we choose it. We can choose to follow Jesus out of captivity from sin and Satan or we can choose to reject this and remain a slave to this world, sin and to Satan. If one rejects Jesus Christ, after they die, they will pay the price for their sin in hell, and then they will die the second death and their soul will cease to exist. Believing in Christ means much more than simple intellectual agreement. It means to repent of sin and completely commit one's life and become a willing slave to Jesus and his kingdom. Jesus said we need to be born again, which implies a death of the self and a death to this world. Believing in Jesus implies living out one's faith through taking action that typically involves risk and sacrifice. This demonstration of faith through action is what it means to have faith and to believe in Jesus. Some Christians will tell you otherwise, but they are deceived and they ignore countless passages in the Bible. Please leave a like and upvote the video. And once this prediction has come to pass, share this video with everyone you know and more. Don't stop sharing it everywhere in social media. It is essential that everyone immediately read the homepage of my website, trumpprediction.com.